It also creates a decent seal there too. I wanna make sure there's no debris along the valve itself in any way. And you wanna do that, of course, above and below the spacer as well. So there's no debris, it's a good solid seal. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hicker Scuba Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Click this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are gonna be notified every time we upload new content. Now in a recent video where we were talking about dry suits, I talked about a dry suit failure I had where the valve itself was leaking and somebody asked me if I could make a video talking about how we actually replace the valve. And I'm gonna do that today for you. And I've got two SciTech valves here. Now this one's actually still in good shape but I'm gonna replace it with this new one because it is a slightly different design. These are the shell valves here, but if we look at the actual inflator parts, you'll notice that it's a slightly different design, and I actually want this design over this one, so I am gonna replace these. Now, by all means, I could just simply unscrew, screw that one in, and be done with it, but since I've got a brand new valve, I'm gonna actually go ahead and replace this one, and I'll keep what's in it as a spare valve. Now, to take this apart, the first thing you want to do is unzip your dry suit and you're going to come in here to the back side of the valve itself and you're going to grasp it but i'm not grasping this part i'm going to grasp all the way up against the grommet there's these little detents in there these little catches there that you can get your fingers on and then i'm going to come around to the front of the valve and i'm going to do the same thing i'm not actually grabbing the top i'm actually going to grab the ring of the bottom and i'm going to turn it very lightly just to get it started here and just to show you what I'm doing, I'm actually turning this piece. I'm not turning the front piece. And I'm just gonna turn on it until it pops. Change hands here. I'm gonna turn just till it pops, like so. And I'm gonna go ahead and take off the back side of the valve and that little spacer there. All that is is it creates a decent seal here and it keeps this right here from actually kinking that grommet. That's what that spacer's there before. So I'm gonna go ahead and just remove the valve. Like I said, I am gonna keep this valve as a spare in the event something happens to one of my other ones. So I'm gonna screw it back in. That simply just becomes a spare valve. We'll put up air on the shelf. And then of course, I'm gonna replace it with this newer valve. And once again, all I've gotta do is just simply open it up. And I wanna make sure that I don't lose the little spacer. That spacer is very important to me. All right, so I'm gonna set those aside. I'm gonna get it lined up here with the grommet. Just simply stick it in, okay? I'm gonna flip it back over. And this is where that spacer really should be not forgotten. You wanna make sure that spacer gets in there. And that spacer, once again, it's kinda of like an anti-friction ring is what it actually is. But it also creates a decent seal there too. I wanna to make sure there's no debris along the valve itself in any way. And you wanna do that, of course, above and below the spacer as well, so there's no debris. It's a good solid seal. I'm gonna screw it down till it stops. Now, once it stops, once again, I'm gonna come over here to the front, and I'm gonna hold the bottom part of that valve, not the valve itself, but that bottom part, and I'm gonna simply just tighten it up the best I can until it stops. So I'm gonna get it hand tight. Once it stops, I'm gonna stop. And then I wanna make sure that I've got 360 degree rotation with the valve. I've got 360 degree rotation for me personally. If I'm in back mount, I run the valve on the left. If I'm in side mount, the valve gets on the left or on the right side. And now that I've done a 360 degree rotation, I wanna just once again, verify that it's still nice and secure. So I'm gonna hold the front at the base, come over here on the back and just make sure everything's nice and secure. It didn't loosen up in any way. And very, very simply, I replaced the valve on my dry suit. It is that simple, guys. If you need to replace the valve, it's not something that you should be scared of. Very simply, unscrew it, put your new one in, make sure that anti-friction ring or that spacer is there and you're good to go. Now, the last thing I would wanna do is actually test this in the pool or in a confined water area before I took it out to open water just to make sure everything's good to go. But as simple as that, I replaced the valve, got a brand new valve in my dry suit now. But guys, I hope you like this video. I hope you found it educational. I hope you see that 
Working on your own equipment does not have to be scary. Sometimes it's very, very simple to do. But if you've got any questions, please put it down in the comment section below, and I'll try to answer your questions the best I can and as quickly as I can as well. But if you like the video, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.